Hi, it's me again. Uh, this time I'm in, in uh, Oshima Island. It's just south, south of Ibukuni. It's one of my favorite places to go. And uh, we're on the far tip of Oshima Island. And there's a museum, and, um, a maritime museum down here. Uh, you know, uh, I've gone to a lot of battle sites, and some of the battle sites were 1,000, 1,500 years ago. And then there's this battle site, which was 75 years ago. And out there, uh, in those islands there, there was a battleship that was trying to hide after the war. Uh, this is close to the end of the war. war. And uh, he was just hiding in those islands over there. And the Americans uh, found him and uh, sunk the battleship. So right here, they, this was a this place had patrol aircraft uh, that was stationed here. It was very small. Uh, I don't remember the details because uh, um, I've gone to a lot of battle sites, so they all run together after a while. And I've been here ten years, and I've probably been to a hundred hundred bases, military bases, from Japanese to American. Because after the war. The Japanese had to surrender all of their military bases to the Americans, so they all became U.S. property. But anyway, uh, this is one of the patrol aircraft that's left. Actually, uh, all the patrol aircraft were sent to, uh, I think, uh, a main island over there, uh, and then they bring this one back, like in the 70s or something like that. But this is one of the original uh, World War II patrol aircraft, and uh, it's in. It's. I don't know how much longer it's going to be around, but it's pretty cool to document it. But yeah, it's really old airplane. Uh, <coughs> and you can see it's, since I've seen it last, it's decayed a lot. And uh, it's pretty huge though, it's a big airplane. This is a campground, by the way, also. It's funny, because it's free to camp here. You just gotta pay to park, which is about how much it costs to go camping. But I'd say it probably averages like 15 bucks a day. But it's a really nice place. Talking about quiet, minus the ferry when it comes in. But uh, it's a really, one of my favorite places to camp in the summertime, that is, because uh, in the winter time I gotta have a heater because it does get down to about freezing in the winter time you know it's weird that oh I forget they probably uh, it's in English which is surprising but like I said that they, they brought this here in 72 and I don't think Japan was allowed to have airplanes right after the war it, it was sort of uh, well yeah, they surrendered so yeah, so a lot of the Japanese airplanes became American, and they use American technologies on top of that. But uh, yeah, sort of really old school landing gear. You see how that wheel just comes up into the fuselage. And you know, I've been up here and I looked in, in the windows before and it really reminds me of a P3. You know, I was a uh, air crewman on a P3. When I was in the Navy, and man, I don't know if you can look in there. Oh, you can't see anymore. That's a drag. Yeah. But I used to be able to see in there. But, like I said, this airplane is deteriorating pretty quick. And I'm not sure how long it's going to be around. <coughs> It, this place is real green in the summertime. All these vines right here, it's just covered with green. I don't even know what kind of vine that is, but it's real common in Japan. And they have a lot of flowers. So anyway, there's the museum. I forget what this is called, but I'll put it in the description if you're interested in it. So, uh, uh, that's a cooking place over there, but you know, you can cook here. We camped right there. 
uh, the last time and uh, uh, those are bathrooms over there but we cut we camped right here and we cooked and everything right there but it was nice this is like the main I think this is paid camping right here and right there and I liked it over here because there's a light right here I didn't have to put up my gas lights and then there's a sink where you wash your dishes also it was close to the bathroom but you can, wash your, you can cook wash your dishes I cooked at the camp camp site but I'm going to take you to the museum I don't know if you can see inside the museum but I'll uh, peek in the windows and see uh, if you can see anything uh, what it is is parts of the battleship they harvested I guess uh, they showed pictures of it they sunk it it was sunk in sh uh, shallow water so they took a lot of the stuff off the battleship and so they have a sort of a history of the you know the, the battleships or especially the one that was sunk out here But, oh yeah, there's a picture of it right there of what was left, so. But I didn't think this place would be open because it's New Year's. <coughs> but it is. So, but anyway. Uh, this is the anchor. Uh, since that's open, I might go in there and see that. That's the ankle from the anchor from the battleship. And then that's the aquarium. I've never been in there. Uh, but I guess it's probably be nice to check out. And then they have more. They have more uh, stuff that was taken off the battleship up here. Sorry if it's bouncing around, but I'm going uphill. Okay, there's one of the screws in the battleship there's the guns there's the front I think that's the front of the battleship it's too bad it's not in English but another gun and then some shrines. Another one over there. I think this is the part that's sticking out of the water. And then it's said the screw. And That's it for now. Like I said, I might take you into the museum if you want to see uh, some of that. I don't know if it's open. Like I said, this is New Year's Day and it's a holiday in Japan. So anyway, like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell for uh, future updates. Talk to you later. Bye.